So we haven't had a good one on this in a while and I haven't really focused on it. Not that it stopped. It still continues all the time and it's a sign of the times we're living in. UFOs, aliens, Nephilim, demonic entities and such. Here's the latest two little updates and then I'll talk a little bit extra on this. Some UFO records must be released according to US Congress. The records are to be released once 25 years has passed since their creation. So all the Roswell stuff should have been out long ago. Unless the president directs them to remain classified. And newer records can be released sooner if the agency that created them allows it. Then Chicago photographer has now recently captured images of a multicolored UFO leaving experts, and now drips under pressure, stunned. The photographer from Chicago captured a shot of a spooky object approaching and apparently changing colors while sitting stationary in the sky. The report noted that depending on who's looking at the phenomena, it could look like an alien's face, an indigenous totem, or even Rafiki from The Lion King. Experts are still not clear as to what the phenomena actually was, but they agree that it is beautiful and spectacular. Speculation has swirled in the UFO world as to what it could be, but it appears scientists are taking a more sober approach to this event, according to the MI Tech News. They are showing you more and more that it is acceptable, that they're happy to talk about it, that it's real, that it's not human, that it's out there, that there are documents and reports and cases that need to be released, and more and more are coming forward as they build this deception story towards the rapture event because the enemy knows it is at the door he knows how to count he did do his one plus one is two so he did listen when he saw jesus talking and teaching and doing everything and he figured out the two days and a day is as a thousand year two thousand years has passed since our greatest defeat at 30 a.d to god blah 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 20 30 a.d we've got a timeline he knows any moment the rapture could take place and he's prepping on that. So he's got to build up and get acceptable on this UFO thing. I mean, we know the Pope already said if the aliens come, he's quite willing to baptize them and everything. So that's already been done. There's so many angles to this. It's crazy and ridiculous. But the interesting thing for me on this thing now that's trending with the Chicago photographer, multicolored UFO, changing colors and everything all the time. We won't go into the changing what it looks like, but the changing colors thing is quite normal. Now, I've had many experiences here in Africa and where I have seen, not just myself, but with other witnesses, family members, friends, loved ones, especially in, and this is the weird part, the Kruger National Park. So that is just bush and animals. And while we lived there, I many times, and I have, obviously, when I was in Cape Town as well, I had a few experiences there, but I've seen these things that do not belong to humanity travel through the skies with my own little eyeballs. And I trust what I saw. They are not ours. They belong to darkness. And they were there, and they actually do. They travel across the sky like a star, they'll stop dead, they'll change and pulse multiple colors, reds, yellows, greens, blues, everything pulsing. And then they'll either zigzag or they'll shoot off at impossible angles. Something that a human body won't survive if you were in that aircraft. That didn't make any sense. If you're traveling at six, seven thousand times the speed of sound in a straight line and you stop dead and then at a right angle go off in another direction, you are jelly. There's no way I can understand a technology that would keep you whole in that situation. But if you were demonic or Nephilim and you had multitudes of technology higher than this, they say a sufficient jump in technology to anybody at a lower level will appear to be magic or impossible. Now you think to yourself the technological level that Nephilim and angelic beings can be at that we won't even understand properly what they've got and what they're working. So yeah, I've seen them multiple times just like that, flying and pulsing. I've sat at nights in the Kruger Park way back when I was young and with my dad and we've watched them fly and transverse the sky and stop and pulse different colors and everything. So absolutely, 
I've seen my fair share of UFOs. It is not rubbish. It is realistically there. It is a thing. I just happen to know exactly who's behind that thing as a pastor. The most interesting event for me that stays with me forever until the day I'm with the Lord, <clears throat> the, the most in-my-face event that I experienced. We were living in the Kruger Park at that stage. They were building the rest camp Shingwetsi. Uh, no, no, Mapani, sorry. We were from Shingwetsi. We went to Mapani. So they were building Mapani rest camp. Now, if you go look on the Kruger National Park map on the internet, you'll see where Mapani sits. Go have a look. And my dad was very much involved doing all of the electrical and all of those things. And he had friends that were contractors that were doing the thatch roofs and all those things as well. And we lived there and it, it wasn't open to the public. We were still building the camp. So the contractors lived far out in the bush, a few kilometers in the Kruger Park. No fences, no guides, no nothing protecting you in the bush with the animals, with their caravans and everything out there. And the one night... We were going to go and have a braai barbecue gathering meal together with these friends of my father's that were contractors doing the thatch roofs. So that was going to take place in the evening. Me being young and at school and on the weekend and doing nothing said I'll go earlier. So I went through earlier with my mom and we went and the guy's wife was there and my mother was obviously and they were prepping everything for the evening and I was sitting on their veranda looking out over the bush. Now again, no fences, no nothing. The sun is setting. You've got to be vigilant. You've got to watch for things like leopards and lion, hyena. All sorts of things can go really wrong really fast. And I'm sitting there drinking a cool drink watching the sky and I see this light come down. And it stops and it's pulsing. Red, yellow, green, blue. But it's bigger than a star. It seems much closer in the sky. So I call. And here comes the guy's wife. And she says, what's wrong? And I say, look, are you seeing what I'm seeing? And she sees and she says, what the heck is that? And she sits down and we both watch this thing. And it stayed there and pulsed and pulsed for a good five minutes, changing colors. And then it drifted down and landed now i'm talking trying to quantify this into american terms for you two football fields away in the bush this thing came down disc like object landed we could see through the trees the light given off by this thing on its stands landed and then Shadows of some humanoid type creatures moving around in the trees in the distance. Shocking. Not human. Doing whatever they're doing in the middle of the Kruger Park by the animals. There's not even people there. What the heck? And then they moved back to the craft. And then it took off vertically at impossible speeds and disappeared into the night sky. So yes. They do exist. People that tell you they've seen these things are not crazy or mad. They have their own agenda and they're busy with who knows what. Manipulating, changing things, messing with DNA, doing all sorts of fear tactics. It's crazy. They're demonic. They're Nephilim. They have an agenda and they're working to an end point. And a lot of people have seen them and in the past been told they're crazy. Pilots, credible people and people don't want to talk about it. And now suddenly a big shift so it's acceptable. Talk about it. No problem. You won't be in trouble. We're all with you. It's a big mind gear shift for them to actually come forward and talk about it. But the reason it's happening is because they're preparing to use this deception for the rapture event that's coming. Of that, I personally, me, Shalto, am convinced. The aliens came and purged humanity of the undesirables and the difficult ones, i.e. the Christians. They're gone. We're all going to do much better now. Good luck with that. And again, desperately want them to try their luck with me again before the rapture. You come land your UFO here. I'm going to rebuke you in Jesus' name, command you, and I'll probably hijack and take over your spaceship immediately. So go ahead, buddy try i walk with a water walker i don't fear nothing on this earth 
or in the heavens, created or uncreated, because God, Most High, is with us. Have a great day. Hope that gives you a bit of depth on uh, these things and what they are and why they're being pushed. Shalom.